Rebecca here and I am excited to be filming the first kettlebell workout I've been filmed or I have filmed in a long time. So it's going to be Tabata style. I have my timer ready here. I have some music ready in the background. We're gonna get started. Um, if you pause this video right now and do a quick warm up, a few squats or something, that would be great because the workout goes and starts right away. If you don't have a kettlebell, not a big deal. You can use your heaviest set of dumbbells and still get a great workout, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the music on. You are warmed up. The first move is kettlebell swings. One minute off. For a swing, grab the kettlebell. Try to get nice and 
part over. And then the arm that's rowing up really comes behind your chest. Side, push, press, lunge. Bring the weight up onto your shoulder. Elbow out, chest open. Press, push, press. Oh, left leg. I'm cheating a little by having my wall right here for balance. <laughs> Good. One more. Whew, I really feel this on my left side. Good. Um, break. Right hand behind your back. That's just to help keep it nice and square.
20 seconds. You're doing awesome. Keep your abs in. Go nice and low. Whew. Three, two, one. Break. the legs. I'm going to do that, but you guys keep rowing. If you are doing the row, make sure your shoulders don't lift up, just the elbows. Use those hamstrings. Squeeze your bum. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, three. Good job. Now, coming down onto the mat. And twist. Now, again, modifications would include choosing a lighter weight, which I'm going to do right now, just because it's a lot of arms, but use those abs too. Go a little faster at home, really squeeze your inner thighs together. Fifteen seconds. Pump it side to side. Ten. Oh, feeling that so good. Five, four, three, two, break. Okay, we stand back up. This is our last stand up. These are called figure eights, and it's all about the leg, so it's not bending over as much as you think. Pass front to back. See how I kind of got a rhythm? Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down.
good solid 45 minute workout, you know what to do. You repeat the workout. Oh, we have to do the other side on my leg. That's what I was forgetting. Ah, I was like, there's one more. Yes, we have to get back up one more time. In three, two, one, coming back up. <laughs> Here we go, over to one side. Weight is in the right hand. You can see my sweat mark on the ground here. Oh. Notice how big I'm trying to take my step. 30 seconds. Our power butt moves with the kettlebell on our hips. I like to place it just right on my pubic bone. You don't want it like right on your uterus. Legs are wide. Hold it there. Press up. Down. Up. You can also turn it kind of sideways. I like it better just straight on the Your hips up nice and high, press against that weight. Try not to use your arms. Good, four, three, two, release. Place the kettlebell beside you. Squeeze your knees in. If you are at the time and you feel like being a superstar today, go ahead, go back to the beginning of the video, do it once more through. I really encourage you to try. This is your second time through. Go ahead, cross your right foot over your left. It's a fun group of moves. Switch. You better bring a strap and a vest if you really gotta do this. Get and release. <laughs> and take your legs nice and wide. Stretch it out. Down the center. And relax. Nice deep breath in and out. And bring the feet together for final stretch. Shake them out. Inhale up. Exhale down. When you're ready, slowly rolling on up. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I hope that you enjoyed getting back, tossing around the kettlebell a little bit. Um, very powerful, very empowering, and a great tool. If you don't have one, highly encourage if you want to continue with home workouts to get a kettlebell. It's accessible, just tuck it away. They don't take up a lot of room, and they add just a whole new repertoire of moves to what you can do at home. So I encourage it so much. Have a wonderful day.